Hello, and welcome to Squabble, a noisy quarrel about something petty or trivial. I'm Carter. And I'm Jacob. And um, we're going to do something a little um, strange. Yeah, a little strange. A little. Um, I'm, I'm drinking a root beer. I'm drinking um, a large hill of... Of yes, with water. You could just say Mountain Dew. Oh, <laughs> not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, because root beer isn't a brand. No, root beer is not. Root beer is a drink. Yeah, I'm drinking lemon lime soda. <laughs> well, I'm drinking IBC root beer. <laughs> I'm drinking undisclosed lemon lime soda. <laughs> okay, yes, we're gonna do something a little weird today. You gotta wear a couple, right? A couple we, of we're besties. A couple of dudes. A couple of besties. A couple of brothers. <laughs> couple of hosts. How about that? Um, mm, mm-hmm. And um, I actually, I, I shouted out my our podcast to an old man at my work. Oh, mm-hmm. He said he was buying some records for his set. And I was oh. like, oh, you have a set? And he said, yeah, me and my friend live in Fayetteville, and we have a radio show. Oh. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, what's well, it called? What's it called? Oh, That's right. That was okay. my follow-up question. And he said something that I can't remember. <laughs> I should have written it down. <laughs> yeah. But I was like. I'll check it out. And he's like, you should. And I was like, I kind of have a radio show. And he was like, oh, what is yours called? And I said, me and my brother have a podcast called Squabble. And he said, I'll check it out. So yeah. we we agreed to check out each other's but shows. I bet he's, but I forgot his. I because bet the thinking, name was really long, actually. I bet he's thinking the same thing about yours. Probably. Anyway. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot the timer. Okay. Uh, we <laughs> are going to... Not every time. I remembered last week. You did. Yeah. Um, okay. We're going to do... A little something something here. Um, it's conversation starters for couples. <laughs> yeah. So this is not for us. We are, are great at having well, conversations. Well, we are going to, we're going to tell you if this is a good site to go to. Oh, okay. Um, we have at least one conversation a week. <laughs> yes. It's conversationstartersworld.com. Yeah. And if that's not a name for a website, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are, we're going to tell you. We're gonna. This is how helpful for you out there. If you don't want to go to the website, just listen to this. Mm-hmm. If you don't like to type, just well, I guess you still have to type to find us. But you find us. Yes. Uh, and then you just listen to the conversation starters here. Um. Yeah. So, uh, when we, when we, you can listen to us and then and then use this in real life when you're out on a date. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. We because we are a couple of matchmakers right here. Yes. Here um. To make your and life so better. I guess so I think. Maybe I'll ask, I guess, will we both answer the question or um, should I yeah, ask I think, you and you answer it? Well, I think we maybe, should both give our answer. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fine. But you can read the next question and I'll, I'll okay. we'll alternate reading. Okay. Okay. Um, Jacob, what is something that you are dreading? That's a deep question to start um, off. F- I'm filming this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what am I dreading? Oh, hold on. Can I, let me okay. read a little, while you yeah. think about that, I'll read okay, a little yeah. intro for this. Conversation starters for couples. Every relationship is different, but there is one thing that every relationship needs. Communication. These conversation starters for couples will get both of you talking, and hopefully you'll learn some new things about your partner. Some of you that are reading this have been in your relationship for a very short time, but some of you have been in your relationship for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Either way, you are probably tired of asking the same old questions. What's your favorite color? you're at a loss (laughs) for new questions. That's the same thing. (laughs) With that in mind, I tried to choose questions that are a little out of the ordinary for this list of conversation starters for couples. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope that some of the questions from this list will shed new light on who your partner really is. Wow. And hopefully you'll find the questions fun and entertaining to answer. Hopefully you will. Uh, So Um, without further delay, I'm not finished. (laughs) (laughs) Without further delay, here's my list of conversation starters for couples. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. um, The phrase conversation starters for couples was used quite a few times. Yeah, I I heard. Um, So like... Yeah, dude. So, like, do do we have the name of the guy who wrote this or the girl, the gal? I don't know. Um, I I want to know. I don't think so. They didn't even sign their name. They wrote all that. Uh, nope. Man, 
What idiots. I mean, somebody started the website. I guess. I, that's probably... Maybe he's doing all maybe, of it. Yeah. Or she. You don't know. Like, here's... Like, on the side here, it gives other suggestions. 350 good questions to ask. <laughs> Just in general. This one specifically for couples. 200 questions to get to know someone. You know what I bet they do? I bet they have, like, a list of, like... 400 questions and then they just recycle them and pick out certain oh, questions. Probably. I mean, here's one yeah. that says um, questions to ask your boyfriend and then right under that is questions to ask your girlfriend. They just change all the so pronouns. So they just added <laughs> they just added all those questions and to yeah. this one conversation starters yeah. four couples. Mm-hmm. They you know? just combined them. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Jacob, what is something that you are dreading? What is something that I am dreading? You asked yes. this earlier. I know. You oh, okay. Answered. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> should I give a funny answer or a serious answer? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's up to you. You want to get deep? Well, it's not deep. I'm just dreading that next year is my senior year of high school. That's something. Okay. okay. But I'm also dreading the fact that we don't have any Mountain Dews at my house right now. This is the last one right here that I'm drinking. <laughs> so when are you going to give the funny answer? Those were both very serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other, the second one was a little funny, I think. Okay. But um, I am, I am serious. I am dreading it. There's no more. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I also dread that. Yeah. I am a... Uh, I drink Mountain Dews often. But at least you have root beers. I don't really like root beer. That's true. I love a good bottle of root beer. Yep. Um, what about you? What are you dreading? What am I dreading? Um, I don't know. I don't dread a lot of things. Oh. You know? <laughs> um, I, I live every day as if it is the only day. Oh. Mostly because if I think about days to come, I either forget <laughs> or I get too stressed. Okay. So I just like to think about you know today. Today. Yeah. What is? What do you use your plans for today after this? What are my plans for today? Um, you, I'm going to write a, an essay. Oh, about on, typography, right? Yes, on yeah. typography, and why it is a. Um, an, an, uh, how it how it started as oh, an art form. Wow. Yeah, it's deep. Um, my yeah, turn to it. ask you, I guess. Yeah. So okay. Next okay. question. Uh, tell me about a time you almost died. Okay. Now, I know you actually have one. I actually You've have told already story. told this. Yeah. On, uh, Not on Squabble, though. Yes. So you could say a short version. Yes. You said it on Perspectives. Yes. Uh, I you could give a short version here. About it. Yeah. Um, I went to Canada, at, and um, we went on a mission trip. We went to an Indian reservation. Yep. Um, and uh, I was talking to a guy who didn't like what I was saying, mm-hmm. and he uh, pulled out a serrated knife yep it's like a couple feet a couple, so that's like a sword <laughs> no i'm just kidding it was just a few inches it was it was a it was a large knife that was like used to cut metal so mm-hmm. it's it wasn't it was not a toy yeah and um he got mad that I, that what about what we were talking about the bible and so he like stomps over to me and puts the knife against my throat and is like you better get off my property right now or i'm gonna show you what an angry indian looks like Yep. And then I was like, okay, bro. I left. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and that's the time I almost died. And nice. uh, I know somebody, a couple, uh, I think just one person that mm-hmm. in my friend group that doesn't believe this story. So Who? Emma, mm. I told it again the other day to her. She was like, wow. sure. And I was like, well. Well, I believe it. I was, thank you. I was well, I wasn't <laughs> actually there, but I was, I was there on the trip. But I wasn't yeah. there when it happened. I, have I was in a different neighborhood. I have a witness. And I, yeah, George. I heard you came back. Yeah, George, yeah. yeah. The man that farted as he walked. Yes, and I, I, that's actually not his real name. I cannot remember his real he name. He looks like a George, though. Yes, he does. Um, I can tell you exactly what he looks like, but he, I cannot remember his name for the life of me. And it's actually sad because he's really nice. Yeah, he was. Um, I've never almost died, really. I mean, so I don't have an answer. I okay. did experience, almost experience what it's like to pass out not long, not long ago, though. Okay, you want to tell that? I, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've told a lot of people. I haven't told on the show. I was working uh, in a at a, an event, uh, like first Friday. If you are an Arkansas resident, you probably know what it is. But um, I was dressed like a transformer, and it was like, yeah. it was like a pretty cool costume. It wasn't like one of those mascots, uh, but it was like fifty pounds, and uh, it was somewhat early. It was like eleven, and I hadn't eaten or drank anything. So I was like, I'd never passed out before, but then I realized I was like, I think I'm gonna pass out. And as they were like. So I told one of the, the helpers there and they like took me back into the little tent and they were like taking it off. And all of a sudden, like I got like tunnel vision, which I had never gotten before. And like everything was going away. And like, I, I one of my ears, you know how your ears feel when they need to be popped. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what happened in one of my ears. And like, I couldn't really hear anything. And I was like, it's like, I really need to sit down, but like I couldn't move. And then finally they got all this stuff off and I could sit down. Yeah, and I, I was world. fine though. Yeah. Yeah. I often and I was like super out. pale. 
But yeah, Carter knows all about that. <laughs> I've passed out several times. Um, we won't get into that though. Yeah, no. we'll One time it was because he had a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, what's the biggest betrayal you have ever experienced? Okay, can I just say um, these are not good questions? Yeah, for this is how you like start crying. That's with like a couple of bucks. You, if you ask this she's, to your girlfriend, she's gonna be like, "It was you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, come on. You I gotta. So. I feel like you need to have at least some fun questions, right? Yeah. But, but um, what's the biggest betrayal I've ever What are you dreading? When have you almost <laughs> died? <laughs> what's the biggest betrayal um, you've ever One time I was, uh, I was playing a video game, and I, I waved at one of the enemies, and we, were <laughs> we made a little peace treaty, and we were both dancing <laughs> in the corner while everyone else was fighting, and he killed me. I and mean, that's the biggest betrayal I've ever that experienced. Is, that is, that is it, it was sad. And then I messaged him. Or he messaged me and was like, sorry. And I was like, oh, it's okay. So you made up. Yeah, but he still okay. killed me. <laughs> yeah. that, that's mean. Yeah, that is very mean. I never, I like to make peace, but I never betray them. I yeah. give them a warning before I kill them. I pull out my gun and I like, I like point it at them. And then yeah. if they don't run away, that's their <laughs> fault. Yeah, I, I understand that. Um, my biggest betrayal, um, I feel like. I, Same thing. <laughs> it definitely, that hap- ha- has happened mm-hmm. to me. I will mm-hmm. say that. But I think the biggest betrayal is once. We were playing Monopoly, and <laughs> yeah, I know. And I had made a peace treaty mm-hmm. with a friend. Can't remember. I think it might have been Lizzie, and mm. she was gonna quit the game because she was almost almost out. She was gonna give yep. me all her money and all her property. Well, she was gonna mm. let me buy it. Yeah. And I was like, "This is gonna be great." I've the bag. I, the, the, game's the bag. In the, bag. <laughs> the bag. The bag is in the game. Is what the I was gonna say. In the, the game. game's in the bag. You almost had a Monopoly. Yes, I, I was about to win, and then. She gave all her properties to somebody else. Oh, and all of them? No, some of them. It was like a half. Most she halved of, it because mm. she got weak. That's sad. But um, that's 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 betrayal. That is okay? betrayal. You don't I don't. Do that's that why Monopoly. I don't play Monopoly. Yep. Um, so there's that. Uh, but I love Monopoly actually. I hate I Monopoly. Love betrayal. <laughs> I hate Monopoly with a passion. I'm, but I'm, hey, it's 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 worth it because now I don't get betrayed. <laughs> yeah, people think that I'm really good. But he cheats. I do not cheat. He cheats. Monopoly is TBH. I think there should game of luck. I have to say. Well, that's true. But I think there should be a new rule in Monopoly. I think there should be a time limit to your turns. You could add that if you want. Um, I think we're going to skip this next question because uh, this is a <laughs> this is an interesting <laughs> question. Um, Don't even say it. Just skip it. <laughs> I won't say it. Uh, okay. I'll just say that these are conversation starters for couples. <laughs> and with that in mind, we will skip this next yeah. question. Um, <clears throat> and it's your uh, hey, what are you battling that you don't tell anyone about? Wow, this is deep. Um, what am I battling that I don't tell anyone? See, yeah, this about? is another one of those like, do you really want to have this conversation with someone that you've had like four dates with? I mean, yeah, maybe these are good questions for like, you know, if you've been dating for a while. Yeah, I know. think this is like a month, like your month anniversary, and then yeah. you can start ask pulling some of these questions, bigger questions out. Yeah, I'm battling the fact that I... What is going on? The fact that um, I have sometimes three or four cups of coffee in the morning. <laughs> and I should probably You're battling have, an addiction. I should probably have one, mm-hmm. maybe maybe two, if it's like a cheat day. Okay. Um, I'd say two is a good good cap. Yes, because usually I have one in the morning, you know, get me, mm-hmm. get me woken up and I eat some toast with it. Yep. Toast and coffee <laughs> um, with strawberry jam. Um, and then, Do you really? Yes. We own strawberry jam. Yes. It's low sugar uh, strawberry oh, jam, um, which probably I'm not, not as good. Like a huge fan of, but I'm I better than it. no strawberry jam. Correct. Um, and then I have another cup of coffee, usually in the afternoon around two or three, but, um, but so on a bad, I've seen on coffee. a bad day, he'll have like two in the morning, then two in the afternoon. I have had two in the, I've had, I once drank my, my, something I'm almost only sort of proud of. I have drank 72 uh, what, what was it? 72 ounces? Was it 72 ounces? I, probably more. I think it was probably like 172 ounces. Of coffee. It was and, a lot of coffee. It was like, probably like eight servings. like five hours. Yeah. So it, it was like a huge thing that you like, you get and you put in your fridge and you like well, yeah, drink it's, it it's over like, a It was like cold weeks. coffee. It was probably like 12, eight was, to 12 servings. I think servings. it was a gallon. I think mm-hmm. it was a gallon. Maybe, yeah. And, um. Yeah, it was like milk jug sized. Yeah, I drank it, was it like, probably a little bigger. If if yeah, I drank if, it five if not in five or four hours. Wow. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that, and also a little ashamed. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, I'm not battling anything. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> what <laughs> a life you, you live. <laughs> what a life I live. Um, I'm still battling. I could say I have an addiction, too, to Mountain Dew. But I don't think it's an addiction because I could stop. Is that what I have. I have right now because I don't have any. <laughs> this is the first one I've had in like, oh, two days. True. Okay. So you, you don't go on. You don't need like a like a Mountain Dew patch? No, I don't need. No. But that would be cool. They should look into that. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess. Wait, is it my turn? It's my turn yeah. to ask. Jacob. Mm-hmm. What are you into but haven't told anyone about? See, this is one that you should ask people, like a hidden hobby. That's a good thing to ask on the first, second yeah. date. Yes. Um, what am I into that I have not told anybody? Um, you know those satisfying videos on Instagram? <laughs> oh, yeah. I <laughs> I'll know. binge watch those. Yeah. Okay. And I don't tell people about it. That's... And I often mock them in public. I do mock them while I'm <laughs> watching them, but I can't resist. I have something very similar, actually. Oh. Okay. I'm into... Um, um, <laughs> like life hacks. <laughs> oh, you like those? Have you, okay, but let me ask you. It's, it, it's, it, it, I'm ashamed when I scroll through YouTube and I see like a, it's like clickbait. It's so clickbait. Yeah, like those and ones I know that, it is. like 72 life hacks that will change your life forever. Yes, it's like, no, no, it's, it's usually the ones that are like, <laughs> um, something you've been doing wrong your entire life. And you didn't know. Yeah, and then but it then shows you, a picture of like a Coke bottle. And I'm like, I've drinking a Coke bottle before. <laughs> what, how can I drink that differently? And so then I watched it. And then it doesn't say anything about a Coke bottle. No, yeah. And then it's something very stupid. Like, yeah. take the wrapper off and throw it away. <laughs> yeah, <or laughs> like, like, it's recyclable. And I'm like, well, I do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I just, keep watching. I get, I get betrayed every time. Yeah. But I keep watching. And that's something that also betray. betrays me. <laughs> yeah. The life hacks <laughs> videos. Well. Clickbait. I like the ones that are like the... Like the gardening foam that you like put flowers in and stuff and then they like get it wet and they like squish it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, but like it like disappears and it makes a, like a whoosh noise. Yes. That's and, that um, satisfying. I don't like slime though. That's what I never oh, like. I hate slime. Yeah, even like the satisfying slime, I don't like. Yeah, every- I do like, on the other hand, kinetic sand and they like slice it. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those are good. I also, um, something that I'm into that I haven't told anybody about. Well, no, I, I guess oh. I have. No, I've got one that I, I do. This is even better oh, than my satisfying videos. Okay. I don't know if you've seen those, but you do. Do you know the surreal, like really meta 3D animations? Uh, yeah. Like CGI things. I love those. And they're really, like the like weirder shorts? the better. No, not like full stories, just like weird clips. Oh. Like, like did you see that one that YouTube posted on their Insta? Whoa. <laughs> Someone just died. <laughs> um, no, like those like little, they're just like weird and they don't make any sense. And there's like that one that YouTube posted on their Instagram. It was like eggs falling and they like think they're going to crack. But they just like bounce. Oh, and yeah. And then like the light yeah. bulbs that are about to hit each other. You think they're going to shatter and they're like balloons. Yes. I have but seen like, those and I like those. No, well. and I think even weirder ones. There's sometimes just like weird shapes and they like look like weird textures. And I want to like feel them and they like move around <laughs> weirdly. And I don't know. They're cool. Okay. Um, that's, under- that's an understandable And they're impressive because like someone animated that. Yeah. Um, okay, another thing I'm into that people know about if they've like been to my house, mm-hmm. but sometimes they don't know. I'm into Funko Pops. Mm. Um, I collect those, and those are like I collect two things. I think I think um, I'm trying to remember everything that I collect. I collect oh. um, besides money, I collect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think everybody besides royalties, I collect um, Funko oh. Pops and um, <clears throat> enamel pens. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. I love Funko Pops. They're you used so, to collect fedoras. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, I did collect fedoras for a little bit. Um, rip, rip. Rip the me. fedora days. Yeah. Um, no, but the vinyl pops are so cute. They got those like black eyes that are that you can just stare at into nothing. Mm-hmm. And they have big heads. Yep. And, 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 and some just, of them are really creepy, but some of them oh, are yes. cute. Some of them are creepy. And then they're, but they're so cute. At and the he keeps them right next to his bed. <laughs> they're watching him as he sleeps. I do. I keep, keep a bunch on my shelf. I have like 20. I think mm-hmm. um, I have some that are worth kind of a lot of money if mm-hmm. I were to resell them. Um, but then I also collect enamel pens, and those are really dope. Uh, I guess that's it, though. Yeah, that's all I'm into. Mm-hmm. That's that's okay. all. Yeah, I just like weirdly um, animated things. Your turn. Um, this is a lo- okay. What small, seemingly insignificant thing did your parents or someone else say when you were a child that has stuck with you all this time? Oh, what is a small, seemingly um, insignificant? I don't know, but the other day, um, some old man said, I, I was the genie in a performance of Aladdin. Yeah. And uh, he was like, just some random old man. He was like, hey, you, you're you a pretty good looking genie. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then like, 
he just went away. I was like, well, who is this old man? I have, and how I have. does he know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it wasn't after the show? No. This was like just the yesterday. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Um, that actually happened to me once. He was like, he was like, I just watched it because my family or something saw it, but I was in Minnesota and like they videoed it and I, here I am. Now I saw it. I don't know how he recognized me. I don't look like I looked quite a bit different. Yeah. You had a costume on. No. Yeah. But yeah, that actually happened to me too. Um, the same theater production. So that's going to yeah. stick with me. <laughs> I was donkey at a performance of Shrek, the musical. And I was just in Walmart, like a couple weeks after the yeah. show, I was in Walmart. And like a random dude came up to me while I was like getting frozen chicken out of the chicken thing. And he was uh-huh. like, he was like, uh, bro. I was like, yeah. And he's like, did you, uh, were you donkey in that strike the musical last week <laughs> at the Aaron's art center? And I was like, um, yeah. And he was like, nice job, dude. And then he <laughs> left. Yeah. And you really didn't look like, yeah, yourself. I had makeup on like covering my face. I had like a hat that covered everything except for my face. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know how he knew me. Yeah. Don't know how. Um, and then even weirder, Okay. Um, yeah, I know what you're gonna say. My f- my friend was in a in a class at a local community college, and somebody pulled up a picture of me. Like the the professor was showing examples of of cool art that mm-hmm. people have done in his class, and one of the examples was a a, a design of me. Yeah, and no, we don't know who did <laughs> and it. Nobody knows who did it, and yeah. I, I don't know anybody who'd ever taken that class at that college. So yeah. it's weird. Um, but also my answer now. <clears throat> Um, once, I have a better answer too. So in, you can once in, in school, uh, I was doing some art, and my professor, this has l- legitimately stuck with <laughs> me and helped me do any everything that I've ever done in my life. This, this well, up be- after that point, yeah, after this point is is because of, of my art professor of mm-hmm. uh, like four years ago, I think. Yep, I was in just an intro to drawing class. That's it. Okay, mm-hmm. and I drew my for my final in that class was a charcoal drawing of a fedora oh yeah this was that on phase. a table uh, on this table actually that's right next to me yeah <laughs> um it was i took a picture of that and then i drew it in charcoal and he looked at it like he was reviewing everybody's <laughs> he looked at it for a few minutes he looked back at me <clears throat> it was silent and he said carter if you can do this you can do anything <laughs> and that's it and i was like uh, th- thank you. And then he left, and, I, and that was the last class. Never saw him again. Mm. Uh, well, I saw him a couple times, like in the hallways after my next uh, when I took classes next semester. But um, that stuck with me. Mm. He, now he, you can do anything. And every time I think that something's hard <laughs> or like I'm doing something that is like I don't know how to do it, I think of him and I say <laughs> I could do anything. <laughs> wow! And like no joke. Inspirational. It's so inspirational. Um, because if I can do that. I can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, one time I won a game show. <laughs> okay, we're <moving> and, on. <laughs> no, this is a good one. One time I won a game show when I was 12. It's, you're not going to believe isn't me. something that, that somebody actually, told you. No. Oh, then you afterwards, I won the game show, and this large black man looked very intimidating. He had like a mohawk, and he had a beard, and he was very large and ma- masculine and buff. And he was like, he was like, hey, man. That's awesome. He asked to take a picture with me, and I was like, <laughs> "I'm so cool." <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that stuck with me. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, and the rest of the we were on a vacation when I did it, and the rest of the vacation, people were like, "Nice job, dude!" <laughs> they'd because be like, "Congrats!" You were, you were famous for being. Yeah, on they'd that be game like, show. "Congrats!" And I'd be like, "What? Why? Congrats!" Oh yeah, I won. I won a game show. Yeah, that's mm. that's cool. Okay, um, I just wanted to put that in there that I won a game show. What Weird is- flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best worst thing you inherited from your parents? The best worst? I think we can skip oh, this. Oh, the best our parents or aren't worst. dead. Yeah. <laughs> or well, wait, maybe this is like a trait. Yeah, I don't think it's like, like physical trait. like like money. <laughs> well, like yeah, your, your inheritance. <laughs> no, I think this is like a trait. <laughs> oh, okay, the best worst thing? That doesn't make sense. Well, um, the best or worst thing. This is basically just read. the best slash worst thing about you. <laughs> um, yeah. Um I have a big old nose. Oh, I've got a chiseled jawline. That's okay. That's the best. Mine's the worst. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's a lot about it. Next, quick. Uh, what was the hardest lesson you've had to learn? Um. Oh man. Uh, probably that I can do anything. <laughs> was that hard? You just painted a no, picture. Just kidding. Um. The hardest lesson that I've ever had to learn. Ah, math. That that's a wow. very practical thing, but it's true. I am. Wow. A, I'm a bad mathematician. Just real bad. 
Um, Anything for you? Yeah, for that's a very uh, legitimate answer. To yeah, mine to is that. not. Mine's a little less practical, but um, working with cardboard is probably the hardest <laughs> thing I've ever had to do. It doesn't okay. like to cooperate, and you have to be very precise. And I made a one year for Halloween. I made a giant uh, Star Wars ATST Walker that I wore inside and I had like stilts and it was all made of cardboard and it was really difficult. And I all had to build it in like a week. So like every night leading up to Halloween for a week, I was like in the garage for like hours That's trying to do this. That's a stupid answer. Okay. Much That's much. a good answer. It was hard <laughs> to, the cardboard does not cooperate and it, you can't really like bend it. So you have to be very precise. Ugh. Um, what's the most disheartening and heartening realization you have come to? That we're all just tiny people on a rock floating in space and that after I die, nothing will really matter. Nothing we've ever done will really have any effect on anything on Earth. Whoa. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's something you wish you could say? No, I'm sorry. Do you have a question for no, me? No, I don't have an answer. Okay. What's something you wish you could say to people but can't? Ooh. Oh, so much. Oh. <laughs> or, um, something specific? Um, I don't know. And I guess I could say, I mean, free speech. I can say anything. Well, well unless like, you're going to, like, if incite some, violence. It's <laughs> something that you can't say that is socially acceptable, okay. I guess. Um, or something that's just polite, like something, like, you know. Yes. I wish I could tell people, um, like, I don't know. Sometimes I, I think about something yeah. that I that somebody, like, doesn't understand. And, like, no matter how much I explain it to them, <laughs> yeah. they, like, just don't understand. Sometimes it's something serious. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's, like a, like, a religious or political view. And then other times it's just something so, so oh. simple, like, like how to use your phone or like mm-hmm. how to finish a level on a video game. No matter how many times I explain oh. it to them, they don't They'll know. never get it. Yeah. And I guess, I guess I, I don't know what I want I have to the say same, after that. I be just want to say you are so Just stupid. here's how to do it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I have similar things though. Like I don't want to call anybody out, so I'm not going to say anything specific. Okay. But um, it happened to me just the other night. Someone was doing something, and I was like, there's such a better way to do it, but like, I can't just explain it. Like, there's not, like, even if I just say it, like, I just know that it's not going to work. They're not going to do it. And yeah. I'm like, there's a better way you could be doing this, but it's fine. And then you just kind of let them do it. Okay. And you're like, they feel good about themselves. Another I guess thing, that's all that matters. Another thing <laughs> is, like, when somebody is, like, really, really, okay, I, I, I'm that... I think we talked about this the last episode. I'm that really annoying friend that people are like, oh, yeah, Carter. He's like, he's kind of, he's like super attached, <laughs> really annoying. Clean. I'm that kid. But I'm also the kid who thinks that, who thinks that there, there are other people that are also really annoying and, and clingy, mm-hmm. which is weird. But I wish I could tell those people, like, when somebody's trying to talk to me and, like, I'm obviously having another conversation with somebody else, but they are just, to just keep talking or they're like, they want to hang out with me every single second. Mm-hmm. I just want to be like, I look, I love you, but you got to <laughs> stop. Um, that's yeah. what I want to say, but mm-hmm. I don't. Even though but, yeah. that's what I, I can't yeah. say that. You, you know? can't, yeah. Um, okay, next. <sighs> um, what have you struggled with your entire life? Hmm. Wow. I'm trying to think of something. Um, let's see. Something I've struggled with. Um, math. <laughs> you're not wrong. I have struggled with math. I in high school, I cry. I, you I cry used, currently thinking about high school. Yes. <laughs> when I think about high school, I cry. No, no. In high school, and and ever and even before that, I think a couple times in college, <laughs> I have been trying to do That's math sad. and I've cried, like so legitimately, deep. like shed it's a tear. So difficult for me. Mm-hmm. My brain cannot comprehend some some mathematical elements it is just it is just physically mentally impossible for me wow that and like that is a hundred percent legitimate it's it is it it no joke gives me migraines <laughs> like i took yep. a math class and like ev- in college every time after i finished all my homework i would have the worst headache <laughs> Like <laughs> legit, <laughs> yep. not kidding. Yeah, it was literally painful for me to do. Like, took a physical math. toll on you. I don't know why, and maybe it's like a psychological thing. Yeah, but it is. It's it's true. There um, we go. That's something I have struggled with my entire life. Um, I don't know. I don't struggle with much. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't. I'm not very good at talking. You guys make fun of me a lot for talking. I misspeak a lot. What? And it, okay. You know, uh, you know me, what I mean, right? Yeah, I know what yeah. you mean, but I want to say something. Me and you both have the same problem. Yeah. Of we, 
but differently. We yeah. both are really bad speakers, but not but like in different ways. Publicly speaking, uh, yeah, just like trying to get our like our literally out. talking. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> like okay, you, you whenever you start talking, you talk super fast. You yep. stumble over your words. You say, you like. I don't know. You stay. Yeah, say and I would say, stuff I would say, I like borderline have a speech impediment too. Like, like I know that I almost like that wasn't that was like literally half an accident where I just I almost had a list. But me, I can't get words out of my mouth. Sometimes. Yeah, Carter just goes. I say, I just, I, yeah. I, I, I almost have a stutter sometimes. Yeah, and um, yeah, but like, yeah. so we're opposites. I, I have too many words coming out of my mouth at one time that I mess up, mess them up. Yeah. And Carter just can't get them out at and all. Sometimes I say the wrong word. Like yeah. at one time when I called Michael Jackson, I was talking about Michael Jackson, <laughs> but I said for some reason I called him Magical Jackson. <laughs> no, it was just magic. Yeah, it was Magical Jackson. Magical Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> magical. I don't know Which why. does kind of sound like Michael. I was just magical. Like, I was like, oh yeah, that Magical Jackson song. <laughs> <laughs> and for some, I was the only one that noticed it. We were in front of a lot of people and everybody else just kept listening to his story. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, magical Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> magical Jackson. But in a weird way, it I, sounds right. It, well, first of all, yes, yeah, I was <laughs> going to say that. I have, I think we have adapted each other's languages. Yeah, Every, anything Jacob says, I pretty much can understand, no matter how at what speed he's talking. Yeah, and I can and basically then, just if Carter's trying to say a word, I know exactly what word he's trying yeah, to say. If I'm trying to say <laughs> anything, Jacob is like, "Oh, I know." I, I can. Yeah, this, is, like, this is a conversation we have. I, uh, I, I, and Jacob's like, I mean, oh, I know yeah, what I know. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, remember that one time we we uh, we were playing like um, Cranium, and there was like a song or it was like a phrase, and I literally <laughs> went <laughs> that everyone thought we were cheating because I literally went mm, 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 and like hummed the phrase, and he knew what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, because like our we know like how our inflection sounds, so we could like tell what words we're like yeah. accentuating and stuff. Yep. And, and <laughs> what's even weirder is that other people listen to us talk. And and they say you guys sound exactly the same. Yeah. They're like I can't tell who's talking when I listen. Yeah, someone to someone told me podcast. about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, but it, I don't know how you sound <laughs> yeah. so different to me. I, yeah, same. But mm -hmm. okay, who knows? Jake, what is the coolest hobby that you have? Um, let's see. I don't do a lot of things. <laughs> um, and this is the last question. I do video game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I play video games, which is pretty fun. Um, no, a cool hobby, not a stupid <laughs> nerdy hobby. <laughs> um, I don't know. I do theater. <laughs> okay, that's pretty nerdy. Oh, um, I used to collect this. I used to play this game. I love this game, but I actually stopped liking it. The reason I stopped liking it is because no one liked it. No one would play it with me. <laughs> and basically, it was like these little like figures, and they were like usually superheroes, and you'd like move them around. You remember this? No. You don't remember this? It's probably because I probably tried to play, you play it once and you just refused. You thought it sounded so stupid. And you like roll dice and they come I with little... I do remember this. Yeah, they come with little cards that have all their abilities. And it's it was really just cool too game. complicated. Yeah, it is really complicated, but I love it. And I figured everybody would like it because at my house, everyone likes complicated games that are boring and long. And so I was like, here guys, I have one. And everybody was like, no, that's <sighs> this is stupid, yeah. <laughs> Um, My dad played it with me one time, just out of pity, and then he, we never played it again. That's true. Um, and um, you, you dance. Oh, yeah. I dance. <laughs> I forgot about that. That kind of goes in with theater. Um, a cool hobby I have. Um, I guess this podcast is our hobby. That's true. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this, is, this is our hobby. Some people might say it's a weird hobby, but uh, it's fun. It is fun. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, another hobby I have, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm an artist, so yeah. how about that? A struggling artist. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, aren't we all struggling? Yes. In our own ways. We are all struggling, Yeah. but we're not all artists. Nope. <laughs> I can <laughs> confirm. I am not an artist. Okay. Um, um, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. That I was, think... that was good. So remember if you are a couple of yes. people yep. that, um, need to have conversations, just yep. use these questions. Yep. 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 Try not to get too sad because, yep. <laughs> They're kind of sad. <laughs> um, feel free to follow us on Facebook. Yeah, feel free to. And Instagram. And that. At Squabble, Squabble Podcast. Podcast. We're almost at 900 followers, so yeah. go on over there. 
We have a Patreon, link in the description below. If you think our podcast is good, feel free to show your love over there. Patreons get special things like mugs, shirts, and early access. We'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe because it really helps us out. Mm. We recently came out with our first merch item, t-shirt yeah. and a sweatshirt. It was really cool. It did really well. You guys loved it. If you stay updated on our Facebook and Instagram, and yeah. we are going to come out with another design we are. soon. We're working on many. You can listen to us on iTunes, YouTube, and our website, squabblepodcast.com. Squabble Be sure to check out other Squabble Empire stuff, like Squabble Gaming on Twitch, and Squabble Movie Reviews on our website. Thanks again. Yes, we will snap you later. Yeet! Do 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 do